It is time to do chores in the afternoon, and as you can see, or as you can hear, everyone is very excited. However, um, it's always kind of crazy as of lately because of I mentioned in my last video that my husband had to have some surgery, and he is taking some time to heal, and it's not at home. So he, I'm kind of going between there and here all day and I come around the time that it's time to go to bed so everyone is very excited and everyone is very very um, upset when I don't hurry what is it that you guys think you need I'm telling you Claire loves to test every single fence yes I know it's dinner time almost dinner time it's always kind of crazy because chores happen as I'm making dinner but as of recently I've started using my instant pot and I found this wonderful book that I'm gonna leave in the comments down below I found it at the library and I've been making every single recipe and I'm gonna say out of all the recipes at least 80% are amazing so One of the bigger problems we'd encountered recently is that since we have the water that comes through hoses, the way that we harvest our water through hoses, we freeze every morning to the point where I can get not a single drop of water. So what I've been doing is kind of rearranging my routine and putting all clean water for the ducks, especially for the ducks that need so much water in the night and right before they go to bed so they have a clean drink of water and then they go to their bed and then in the morning when they come out they have their food and they have clean water not only to swim but also to eat and drink okay so these two are full This is another thing that I've done as of recently is using one of these toads with something to kind of slide them around. Um, when I take hay to the boys, I always waste a lot since I take it in my hands and they start spilling. So this way I feel like I am not wasting so much. And like right now I have to take this to the boys that has their daily uh, feed. I don't understand. Is it dinner time? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe if you scream a little bit louder, that will convince me that it's dinner time. Let's go to bed. Okay, good girl, honey. This they don't really need because of the hay that they're eating. 
so I give them just a little bit as an encouragement to go to their stalls at night. Hi, my sweet boy. Hi. Rocky is extremely jealous. Nobody can get close to me. But this cute boy, he is a good, good boy. He is a sweet, sweet boy. Hi, baby. Ah, you're such a mini rock. Stop it. Rocks. Yes, you. You want to be loved? Okay, I love you, but stop being a mini. Stop it. Hi, you want to be loved? You can be loved too, baby. You are a very, very, very sweet boy, Dookie Duke. Oh, I'll help you scratch. Scratches, 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 scratches. Ah, oh, yeah, those. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Look at Tass's size compared to Rocky, if they let me. Oh, you're so cute, boy. Hi, Rocks. Knock it off. You, short king. Oh, you know where the food is, huh? Huh? Don't you know where the food is? I'm kind of against the light, but I wanted to show you the mist that is starting to get everywhere. And that's how you know it's going to be a pretty chilly night because it looks kind of, um, I remember when we went to my daughter's to one of my friend's house at the time, the first time that we visited, we went at eight o'clock at night uh, and I think it was over the winter break or something and all you could see was the mist and the first thing she said is mom this reminds me of Silent Hill um, so if you ever watch the movie Silent Hill and you think it's creepy well we kind of live in Silent Hill but this is a different kind of Silent Hill Now a lot of people wonder why I lock up the animals at night and it's because of the woods that I have behind me. Uh, this is where they live, they live in the woods. So, but because of that, because we decided to put them in the woods, we knew that there were certain things that we needed to do in order to keep them safe. And one of those things was locking them up at night. Now. I think it's um, wonderful if you don't have to lock them up at night, which you basically can do chores once a day and be done if you're not milking twice a day, which is awesome, in, especially in the winter. But especially in the winter is when we get the most predators. And I am telling you, I've gotten up in the middle of the night and there, like on the other side of our creek, uh, I can see some eyes um, staring back at me when I hear noises in the night. Now you can hear the callings of uh, bobcats, you can hear callings of different animals really. You can even hear uh, raccoons, they make a very distinct um, call or noise or I don't know how to call it. But every time I hear one of those, I come outside and check out, make sure everyone is safe and nothing happened. So because of that, I kind of, uh, when, especially my husband comes to the woods at night, he comes with a very um, bright flashlight and he can see them in the back. Uh, I'm not saying they're cats. I don't know what they are really because all you can see is their eyes. And, but it, it seems like it's that kind of size, you know, it's like either a bobcat and we have seen some mountain lions in our area. Actually, it was walking down the road. So it's it's something that during the winter time, you just have to be aware. And some people say, well, if you have a big dog, they'll smell the dog and they'll go away. Well, 
that's not my experience so I've seen a lot of people saying I can't believe you still have your ducks alive because everything dies I mean they find a way to get into chicken coops they find ways to and yeah we do have foxes we do have raccoons we do have cats and um, I think the most important part of the whole situation is locking them up at night now Now maybe the shelters are not the most amazing thing that you've ever seen in the world as far as construction or how sturdy they are and you know eventually they might be able to get to them but I try to take every precaution and be aware that yeah uh, they are around uh, if I can see them that means there's a lot of them not just a few and we just have to be aware. A lot of animals come to our creek to have water at night so and it goes all the width of our property so of course this is something that they need and that's okay that's uh, this is part of their house too so and just so you can have a better perspective right there is where the goat pen starts so as you can see there's like this much space in between the creek and the goat pen I this last summer I also had encounter a bear one night and I thought it was my husband walking up the driveway at 1 a.m. in the morning which of course he wasn't but I, if you want to watch that video I'll have a link down below but it's not a matter of being afraid of the animals that are outside which we're living in the woods so basically we're living in their space so I am not complaining about that we knew when we first moved here that that was part of the deal that yeah there's a lot of animals here and we just have to be aware of that and adjust accordingly um, never feed a bear never feed any kind of animal that will come back for more and in the end you are gonna hurt yourself um, or it's gonna hurt your farm by taking one of your animals when you don't feed them but I think it goes beyond that and I think having respect and being careful is just part of living in the woods.